Well, good morning, you sexy little TikToky bastards. Should we talk about these by-elections? So there were three Tory seats up for grabs yesterday because three Tory MPs have either resigned or been suspended or whatever. You get the idea. One of those is Boris Johnson in Uxbridge. Now, Uxbridge is the only one they managed to cling on to. They clung on to Uxbridge by 495 votes. How about that shit? 495 people and they just tipped over into retaining Uxbridge. Pretty close call. Quite infuriating if you look at the actual figures behind it all because the Lib Dems got about 500 votes. The Greens got about 400 votes. So if all the left-leaning progressive parties had just worked together, you wouldn't have a Tory in there. But yeah, now because you can't agree amongst yourselves because you're too busy infighting and splitting the vote, now you have a Tory. So great job. Congrats. Now, the Tories have lost Selby. The Tories have lost, what is it, Somerton? Is that the name of the other one? So two out of three of their seats yesterday, they lost. It is an abysmal performance and only the latest by-election humiliation for CCHQ. But how is it being reported in this morning's news? Well, the BBC are being uh, the BBC about it. Like, I read their coverage at about 6 a.m. this morning and <laughs> it's like, it's so BBC. It's like... They've lost this seat. They've lost that seat. They barely clung on to Uxbridge by 495 votes, which when you look at it in the context of like 20,000 majorities and shit is nothing. And yet, how have the BBC reported it? They were like, well, it was, um, it was a night of uh, mixed results, to be honest with you. Mixed results. They lost two out of three of their seats. That is like a father of three running into his burning family home and he comes out having saved one of his children. <laughs> and then it gets reported as like, you know, father of three saves one of his children in shock, amazing night. You know, like, oh, you only saved one of your children. Like, God, that sounds awful. What a terrible night. Well, you know, don't be all glasses half empty about it. A lot of people saying the Uxbridge result was just about you, Les. Like, imagine being that dumb that you can't bring yourself to vote Labour because you don't want you, Les in Uxbridge, when ULES was something dreamt up and implemented by Boris Johnson, your fucking MP. Like Uxbridge voters a bit, oh, I can't bring myself to vote Labour because I don't want Sadiq's ULES coming into Uxbridge. Like it's not a constituency matter. <laughs> your MP can't do anything about it. It's a London mayoral thing and it's happening. It's agreed. It's gonna be in in like four and a half weeks. If a constituency MP could change ULES, then why wouldn't Boris Johnson have done it when he was your MP? <laughs> you crayon-eating fucking moron.